Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to Rear Facing Toddlers. As the name suggests, I specialise in rear facing car seats because they are the safest way for children under five to travel in the car. However, I do also give general car seat advice and while I won't use this channel to recommend any forward facing car seats or to show you how to install any specific ones in particular, what I will do is address common errors. When I do car seat checks, these types of seats are the ones that I see a lot. These are so-called 1-2-3 seats. They are harnessed in group 1 for children up to 18 kilos and they use the adult seat belt as high back booster seats in groups 2 and 3. I have now installed two of these seats in my car. One fitted correctly with the belt going over the sides, around the back and over the other side. And the other one fitted incorrectly in a way that a lot of people do it wrong. So I'm just going to walk around to the other side of the car now to show you what that mistake is. In this car seat, the seat belt has been fed through the back and then around the middle under the cover and then out of the other side at the back. And that is not the way to install this seat because as you can see, you can move the seat all over the place. It's really wobbly. No matter how hard you pull that belt and how tight you make it, it's always going to move like this. So this is obviously not the right way to do this. In this seat, the seat belt has been put in through the back. If you move the seat slightly, you can see where it's gone in. And here on the buckle side of the car seat, you can see the seat belt just about coming out from behind the seat. And if I move it forward, you can see that the belt has been threaded through the back. And this is not the right way to do this. But unfortunately, I see lots and lots of these car seats that have been installed incorrectly in exactly this way. This one, however, has been installed correctly. The belt comes up from here, goes over the side, around the back and over the other side. Because it wiggles over, back and over, it's known as the snake belt path because it wiggles around the seat like a snake. And this one is much more solid and much more firm in the car. So I'm now going to show you with all three different seats how these seats are correctly installed. I have now lined all three of these car seats up facing down so that you can see on the back of them they all have two big holes on the back. So one here, another one there, the same on this one and the same on this one a little bit higher up. And although that is where the seat belt goes, a lot of people put the seat belt through in the wrong order. So I'm now going to show you in the car how this is done correctly. So you start by placing the seat in the car and face it sideways towards the door. You then pull out the seat belt. You give yourself quite a lot of length so you have enough to work with and you pass the buckle through that hole but from the front. On here you can see a red tab. There's another red tab here. All forward facing car seats have the seat belt path indicated in red so you need to follow these red bits. So the belt goes in through that hole then grab it with your other hand and pull out all the length of seat belt. I've now swapped the car seat for a different model just to show you that all these types of car seats are installed in the same way. So the long seat belt that I just passed through the other one is now here as well. Face the buckle tongue towards the seat and with your other hand grab it from the front and pull it through. Then turn the seat to face forward and buckle it in to the seat belt buckle. On this particular seat you can see that it's got big red plastic belt guides there and that is where both parts of the belt have to lie. I've now again swapped it for a different model to show you that the last one that I just had didn't have armrest or um, booster horns. This one does and in a lot of these types of car seats when you pull the belt tight to remove the slack from the lap belt rather than go under here you go over here and pass it through this red clip. Then push down into the seat and put all your weight on it, pull all the slack out of the lap belt and pull the diagonal belt through the back and up back into where the seat belt comes from. All car seats have a sticker or a label on the side that shows the different belt paths. Now this car seat, because it's a 1-2-3 seat, will show the belt path for when you're using it with the harness, which is here as well as with the seat belt, which is here in group two and three. But for the group one harness, if you look closely here, you can see that here on the seat belt buckle, um, the seat belt splits, you've got the lap belt going under the horn and the diagonal belt goes over the horn. That does vary from seat to seat. So if you have one of these seats, please do check your sticker or instructions very carefully to make sure that you're splitting the belt or not splitting the belt, but do it according to your instructions. So this is how you install a 123 car seat with a snake belt path. Just to show you one more time, the belt goes over the side, through the hole in the side, around the back, comes out here, buckles in, 
Most of the time it then splits and goes through this red hook and then behind the seat you then pull it up to make it tight. Now before I go I do just want to stress that these are not car seats that I would ever recommend. I don't like them, they're quite cheap and flimsy, they're not very well made and they only pass the most basic of crash tests and they're forward facing. Children really do need to be in rear facing car seats until they're at least five years old but if you do have one of these please make sure that it is installed correctly in the way that I just showed you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.